All right, welcome back everybody. It's 10 minutes before 7 on this Monday morning. Dr. Tandi Andlovu from Mattel Construction is the new winner of the Business Women's Association of uh, South Africa's Business Woman of the Year. Now this award, in, of course, is given in the business category. In the corporate category, the winner was Christina Teixeira, who is the financial director at a construction company, Group 5. So it's so nice to have you with us in studio. Welcome to thank Morning you. Live. Thank you very much, Leanne, and thank you for having me. And congratulations uh, on, on winning this award because, I mean, you. you know, construction is, mm. is in the headlines lately and it's not an easy industry to be in, especially, I imagine, for a woman. No, certainly. It's yeah. not an easy industry. Um, but I just believe in terms of our sector in this country, we have learned our lessons if we're talking about uh, the big players. And uh, I just believe that the recent events are going to put us back on track in terms of ethics and integrity. But yes, you're quite right. It is very, very difficult out there. It's a high capital intensive, uh, low margin kind of business. It requires you to be there personally, uh, not delegate much. So yeah, yeah. very difficult. <laughs> now, I, what I find so fascinating about you is that uh -huh. you, you're actually a medical doctor. And then yes. you landed up in construction. <laughs> now, Tell us the story, because I think I've also piqued the interest yes, of the viewers yes, out there. Yes. Leon, I was working in Orange Farms in the south of Johannesburg as a medical doctor, servicing a community of over, at that period of time, 200,000 people. And I saw that the biggest problem with the disease profile in that community was the conditions of living. Yeah. I mean, if you saw the children, um, they came to me with severe asthma, bronchitis, uh, severe diarrheal diseases. So I started talking to the women to say, look, there is some government subsidy for poor people to build their own houses. I'm going to help you to try and establish how this thing is done. And the rest is history. Three mm -hmm. years into running my own private practice, uh, yeah. I've been doing this for 18 years now. Gee whiz, that's incredible. And just tell us a little bit more mm -hmm. about your, your construction company. Um, Mutel Construction Group is probably one of the larger black female-owned companies. We are a 54% black women-owned company with all of us shareholders being active in management positions. I set up the company myself, so it was 100% black female owned, yeah. as I say, 18 years ago. But uh, sooner rather than later, I realized that I needed somebody to come and help me sort out this thing. Yes. <laughs> so I brought on board uh, experienced people uh, who are technically competent, and those happened to be white males. Yeah. Uh, I believe that uh, in terms of my business, that's one thing that I want to leave with your viewers and with the country, that here I was 18 years ago with an idea to house people. Um, I didn't have much experience, but I brought on board people who had the experience. They just so happened to be white elderly males. Yeah. They currently still own about 44% of the issued shares of the company, um, but uh, we are now a fully fledged construction company. We do mass housing. We've built over the country uh, in excess of 62,000 wow. housing units, very Fantastic. good quality housing units, I must yeah. add. Yeah. We do rail infrastructure, office accommodation. Uh, we work with private sector entities, including MTN. We do their refurbishment of their office space. Um, so we are a really concerned with a large variety of projects in yeah. the country as we have offices throughout the country and uh, as I say in terms of the registration of uh, companies we are just about at the level of what you would call your big six or big five. Fantastic yes. I am so happy for you. Now yes. I, I have it on good authority that when you got the award you dedicated it to none other than uh, Mr. Nelly Mbeki. Oh, yes, I Why? did. Why did you do this? Leon, um, I spent many years in exile. I left South Africa at age 21, uh, a bit fed up with apartheid and the South African uh, situation. I was a final year a med a Bachelor of Science student at the University of Forte. Mm. Got into exile at 21. You have no mother, you have no big sister. You are thrown into an environment where you need mentors. And if there is one person I can single out as having been there for me personally, it is Mrs. Mbeki. At that point, she was one of the few who were employed by the uh, uh, private sector in Zambia. She helped get me a scholarship to go back to school when I needed to go back to school. Yeah. Um, came back to South Africa. She drew me into her business, which is called Women's Development Bank. I learned the ropes there of how to manage a business that is socially responsible. 
um, in terms of her own input into advancing the cause of women in this country, I mean, she, there's, I, I don't think there's a better role model. She sets up these women's groups in rural areas, uh, gives them loan finance, and then we've had instances where those women have really gone from nothing to educating their children at universities. So I dedicated this to her because in terms of my own business, that's what I try to do, to get yeah. it to be socially responsible. Um, yes, I have to look after the bottom line. Yeah. But uh, there are a lot of things I do in my business which really address the needs of the poor and the communities that I'm working in. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Uh, Dr. Tandi and Lovu from Mateo Construction, uh, the winner of the Business Women's Association um, uh, Business Woman of the Year Award in the business category. So lovely to have you. Congratulations.